mics are on. They can hear me? Yeah. Hi, everybody. How are you? Welcome to Perfect Press HTV Live, your favorite HTV Live TV show. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, today we're doing um, color changing vinyls. So we're going to be showing Perfect Press Solar and Perfect Press. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Perfect Press Solar and Perfect Press Hypershift. So those are two vinyls that uh, react either with the sun or heat and change color, um, which is really fun sort of design. So we're going to just jump on in and work with the vinyls. Um, they're really easy to work with. Uh, I'll also probably layer a few other vinyls in there with it just to help create cohesive, fun designs. Um, yeah, and at the end of this episode, uh, I'm going to upload these files I create for free for y'all. So if you want to play along in, uh, during the replay, uh, do it yourself. You'll be more than welcome to. So the files will be available at, right after this episode. Um, so yeah, y'all, or if you're watching the, the playback on YouTube, it'll be down in the uh, info link below. So let's get started. I think the first thing I want to do is let's do a bag. So I have a pre-made bag design that I was working on. This kind of sun, kind of the yin yang -ish sun design. Um, so before we do anything, I want to make sure I like the sizing of it. So I'm going to use this purple bag. I think uh, probably across will look real nice on this, so let's use the 10. That's all. I'm going to make this one and 9%. Keep it easy. My first layer is black. I'm going to grab perfect press black. I'm going to load it. And I'm just going to do a normal standard black as my first layer. That's kind of my like, guideline. in there. For my next layer, I'm going to go with the uh, Perfect Press Solar. So this is Perfect Press Solar. It starts off white and then changes color with direct sunlight or D light. Fortunately, uh, it's hard to take the whole live stream rig with us outside. Um, so, I don't know if it's going to be sunny out today. Um, One that we brought back in the early days of COVID where we thought we could clean things with light. And uh, let's see. I think you gotta, so if you turn it around, I honestly, guys, I found this in my desk. Um, and this is actually my first time ever using it. Um, but uh, you gotta like hold it down, and there's like a little light on the other side. You'll see it like turn blue. Oh, there it goes. Well, yeah, don't look directly into it. For a second. You gotta hold it when it's on. You gotta hold it really close to the thing. I think it's like a little sensor thing to make sure it doesn't blind you. This worked yesterday. You want? You want me to? You want me to do it? Blue, baby. You're getting a little rough with it. Hello. Hello, Obama. yesterday. We believed in you, UV light. If you all want to believe us, I don't think this is white vinyl. It uh, does change color. <laughs> I swear. You literally had it work like, working like a second ago. I have another one of these. Let me mess around with it a little bit. Well, we still got kind of weird. Maybe Sarah can get that working. Yeah, that's the thing. We got, we got time. <laughs> we got a little time. I got a little charger. Let's 
So my next layer is going to be the red one. On these vinyls, we have our guys in the warehouse write what color they are in the corner, so it has a little R for red. Let's grab this. So our first layer is complete. Now I want to take our red layer. And this cuts at the exact same settings as Perfect Press Soft normally cuts. While that cuts, I'm going to start peeling this one. Perfect Press Soft is such an easy to weed vinyl. If you haven't tried it, if you've used other brands like um, CAD Cut or Thermoflex or even Easy Weed. I recommend giving Perfect Press Soft a try. You might be pretty shocked how great it is. It feels real nice. We're just peeling this guy. Now this is a somewhat complex design. But it should turn out pretty nice. My red one finished, so we're going to send the next blue color. Send. And I uh, want to continue weeding this design. You know, weeding is such a love hate thing. <laughs> Sometimes I find it relaxing. But if you're like under the gun or have like something that you gotta get done right away, man, it can be annoying and stressful. <laughs> if you got the money. Hire someone else to do it. You know, I know quite a few people who hire the local neighborhood kids to do their weeding for them. Oh, yeah. There's tips and things. That, there's little tricks that make it a little easier. And just practice. I find that when I weed stuff often, I get quicker at it. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, that just comes with, like, uh, like garment design, really. So I think about, like other processes and they all have like something that's like a certain aspect to them that's like equivalent to like weeding or something it's like with screen printing it's like the cleaning and the exposing of the screens you know that's tedious and takes a long time is that my phone or your phone no it's my phone Okay, you've been popular. Or it's just uh, excited that I uh, booked a bunch of doctor's appointments and I'm taking care of myself, you know. Do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm proud about this design. While it's pretty fun, it's a little complex. So it's taking me a little bit to weed. Yeah, I mean, when I saw that design in the program, I was like, you going to do it like that again? Okay. I'm brave. I know. It's done. You all fine folks are watching, right? How many is there? Two? Three? Uh, we got six. Six, yay! Big old six. Hey, y'all. So once I get this base black layer done, then we will 
add on our other layers. And this la I like to do this as our base layer because it's really going to keep everything, it's our guidelines. So it's really going to keep everything in, in place. And I swear, guys, this design is going to look so cool. Hopefully. I mean, it was so cool yesterday that one of our coworkers insisted on having the thing that you made. <laughs> That's how cool it is. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. She sure did. <laughs> 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 Who needs dis in store displays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like that happens with a good 60% of what I make here. <laughs> it doesn't make it to the actual display shelf. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we got a message from uh, Edwanda saying, hey, Perfect Press family, what's good with you all? See you shortly. Hey, Miss Wanda, how you doing? Hope you're doing great. I'll see you. Say, hopefully uh, you come in and I won't be at lunch. Do 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 do. I was told I can sell that Galaxy Press I use in other videos for cheaper. Um, has no warranty, but it could be yours for seven hundred dollars. That's the price that we're selling it at? Maybe. It's a great price. If you ask me, I will probably can make it work. Honestly, that's kind of a crazy deal. It's almost half off. Yeah, it's almost half off, but I definitely understand why. I mean, it's been used quite a bit. In yeah, it's like very used. There's no warranty. Yeah. It's a good press, though. It's a good press. I would. It's not the best deal to be offered, to be honest. The, uh, no. the Perfect Press 16 by 20 is a better deal. Yeah, it's roughly that price brand new. <laughs> and with a warranty. And yeah, and with a full year warranty. So like, yeah. <laughs> Do we have scissors? Oh shoot, what is this doing? What did you, you mean to grab me some? Uh... I bumped the, <laughs> the mouse and it send it twice. Uh -oh. I don't need you to go twice. That's fun. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bad computer. Do you need me to grab you scissors? I do need a pair of scissors. Okay. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Yes. I will move on to another pair. <laughs> so this one's harder to see because it's white, but luckily, thanks, thankfully, to you, because I'm using the Graphtech software puts that weed board around it, which makes things so much easier to fill out. that layer. Well, thank you, Miss Sarah, for the sizzles. Yeah, so what layer are you doing right now? Um, I just finished the black one, and, I, and this is the blue one. yesterday in the park and it was pretty fun. What's bocce? Uh, lawn bowling. Okay. That sounds like it has fun. It is. It's much more fun when you're not on a court doing it. Hmm. Because the court is kind of just like a flat baby pool. It's kind of what it looks like. It's like a rectangle that's shallow, you know? Interesting. Yeah. But then if you do it in the park, it kind of has like a little disc golf vibe to it because you're supposed to take like so the concept of the game essentially who knew everybody was going to tune into a uh, perfect press HTB and get a demo on bocce um 
It's like a, you have a bunch of different colored balls that are just like tiny, like kind of heavy, like little bowling balls. And then you have like a little like birdie, birdie ball type thing where it's like a little ball that you throw and you're supposed to get the closest to that one ball. That's the concept. Well, okay. That's pretty fun. Pretty simple. Good park game. Kind of sounds a little bit like, um, I can't remember what the name of the crochet. Croquet? Uh, croquet? No, because that's, you got little like things you got to get the ball under, you know, the little use or whatever, the little. I don't think I've ever properly played croquet. It's kind of hard. I'm not a fan. It's kind of like golf. It takes a really long time. I'm very bad at golf. Uh, you know what? I've never tried. I'm very bad at it. I. I should go more. I'd get better at it, but I'm so bad at it, no one wants to go with me. <laughs> <laughs> Even my own dad's like, nah, I don't want to go. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess you just got to go to Top Golf and practice. Top Golf's so expensive, though. I have never been, so I don't know. Top Golf's fun, but it, it gets pricey real quick. It's like bougie bowling. Well, there's a. Uh driving range over oh well, there's a driving range just down the road yeah yeah that uh kind of crappy one where you can get all the bud light your heart desires and you can just boy <laughs> that face that face about it yeah <laughs> it's a uh, it's kind of sketchy looking on the outside but i've heard it's a, a fun place to tee off i guess is that the term i don't know uh last night i saw a movie it was uh, on Netflix called Thunder Force. Uh, okay. It was watchable. Was that the one with Nicolas Cage? No, 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 no. It was with Melissa McCarthy. Oh. Another high-level actor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was watchable. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. So it's going to win an Oscar. <laughs> 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 I didn't fall asleep in it, so that's, that's the positive. That's good. That's usually a good sign. Thunder Force the movie. I'm really hoping this UV light charges. Yeah, that'll make this bag a lot cooler demonstration, Sarah. Uh, yeah, I charged it yesterday, so I'm not quite sure why. Maybe you overcharged it. Maybe. Does that mean I broke it? Almost done. It works. Oh, wonderful. We'll close it before <laughs> we waste the battery <laughs> so we can fill it off here in a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, folks, I got one last layer to do. So to make this design pop a little bit more, I want to do a final layer. And I'm going to do it in 3D foam just to give it some like texture and interest to this design. So I'm popping in 3D foam. And the cool thing is all these vinyls are all cut at the exact same setting. So I don't have to adjust nothing. I already got my heat press heating up. It's at 300 degrees. Today we're using the Hotronics Fusion IQ. And we're using the new plan that allows you to do um, tags on your t-shirt. And we'll show how to do that here with that our second press. For? I want to say it's like 350 or 400. Um, it wouldn't hurt to know that price, though. <laughs> I'm not sure off the top of my head, to be honest, y'all. That's OK. I have the power of the internet right in front of me. Oh, Right snap. in my hands in several different devices. The internet. It's cool, man. That should be the slogan. The internet. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love how people back in like the 90s and even to like the mid 2000s and even some today think the internet's a fad. Like, <laughs> I, I just think that's hilarious to me. When I, when I, every time I ever hear it, I'm just like, what? You, what? <laughs> I love the internet, but we are in a very strange time where we're watching what happens with all the bad parts of it. And the good, man. Yeah, there's a lot of good things. 
GoFundMe is a good thing. GoFundMe is a good thing. Yeah. Misinformation, however, not very good. Lots of that. I don't know, man. I learned all about Bigfoot and UFOs. Ugh. I was just listening to Alarming. Do we have this on the internet yet? On the amazing internet that we're talking about? Um, it should have been, but who knows? Should be under plans for Hotronics. Yeah, quick change plans, correct? It should be. If it's not, I'll let the bald man in. I'm not bald officially. I have short of hair. I just really like how quickly you, like... <laughs> Went to defend my baldness? Yeah, defended your statement about yourself when I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> just saying. It's not fully bald, it's just thinning. Okay, man. Very badly. <laughs> you don't sound insecure at all. <laughs> <laughs> I had glory, glorious locks. And then they started changing. Okay, I'm not seeing this flatten on the internet. We'll get you guys a price on that at some point. I'm going to do a quick plug, though, on the fact that we have a total of 14 colors of 3D foam now. Wah, wah, wee, wah. Wow. Up it all. Um, and then how many glitters did we get? 45? Oh. 45 new glitter colors? 45 new glitters from StarCraft. They're pretty fun. We're working on some TikTokers, TikTok videos for those. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing some fun tumblers in this demo room. Those I wish we could do live videos on, but they They're take so long. Hard. It just yeah. wouldn't make sense. We and we have, if you guys are curious about tumblers, we have done pre-recorded videos on like a whole how-to guide. We did one in Spanish and English. Yeah. Crazy enough, our Spanish versions are most popular video we've ever done by a large margin. Yep. Um, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, we might do another Tumblr video here in a few weeks, but it's going to be a more produced, non-live video. So yeah. check. Keep a lookout on our YouTube page about that. It does um, take us about a week to do a Tumblr demo video. Yeah, they take a little while. Yeah. But they're coming. We'll do another one soon. All right, this final layer is done. So now we could, we could do a live video with the Tumblr, but it would be like a lot of like. What if we did a live video where we just checked in like every ten every every day and did a little part of it? Like, did the part, because it takes multiple days for it to set, you know? I know. Be like, hey, we're back doing this part, day two, day so that's three. That's why we can just bring in the stuff, like, we could bring in the stuff, like, uh, at every single stage, like, just have a tumbler at every single stage. Oh, yeah, we could start one. It takes a lot of pre-planning. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone getting insight on how we plan these things. Just play it fast and loose, you know. Some days are fast and loose, some days are well planned. Today's was more planned. Yeah, it was. It was a, yeah, we, we actually like tested something out before, the day before. So the hardest part about this is making sure everything lines up nice beforehand. So we're going to take it over to our heat press. Voila! It's at 315 degrees. As long as you're within that 300 to 320 range, you'll be fine. We're going to use a bag. I got this set from Alpha Broder. For like a dollar. It is a bag edge, 100% con bag. So I'm just going to lay this right here. We don't need a pillow or nothing because there's not really any large bumps or anything really in the way. Does Alpha Broder sell like a sublimatable bags? Not really. They might, but you, you got to look at the fabric. I don't think it's going to be advertised. It'll just be advertised as 100% polyester. Right. That sounds like a crazy feeling bag. <laughs> a lot of times those string bags have, are uh, po polyester. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, so I want to do this first layer of Perfect Press Soft. Layer one. Make sure it's nice and kind of in the middle. You know, it's funny, the, this bag is kind of cheaply dyed because when I heated it up, the color purple changed. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, it got caught in the rails. Good thing I didn't lock it down. Wow. Oh no, it's, uh, it's trying to... <laughs> chaos is ensuing. Okay. Hello, arms. I think it might do... Whoa. 
I think uh, it might do that again. All right, let's put it in the spot. Let's flip it this way. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's press it now. <laughs> ba ba ba, ba da ba, da ba ba, ba na na. Keep press dance. Keep press yeah. dance. Whoa. Because we're doing multiple layers, we only need about eight seconds. Hot peel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to our next layer, y'all. Um, so the puff layer needs to be the absolute last yes. layer, correct? Yes, just we like we last week we talked about, yes. it needs to be your last layer. So on this, the yes. puff layer is going to be our very last. So this is the hardest layer because it, it's got all those little triangles. Can you zoom in on this for the people? I could probably pick up the camera and kind of zoom in. Are you okay with that? To do what you need. It'd probably be easier to pick up that camera. It's so. going to be way easier. I'm just wondering if I can. Nope. No, no. Can't do it. <laughs> it's going to be weird. <laughs> so that actually looks pretty dang good to align. Eventually, I'm going to get a third camera for an overview. I mean, that'd be great. So I'm going to press this one. Hi, y'all. <laughs> again, this is a hot peel, so we can peel it right away. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. So we're going to now do our red layer which appears white till it hits the sun. It's that solar vinyl. And I'm just, almost like a coloring book or something. I'm just filling in the, the lines. I'm pinching, kind of been pulling the material, make sure things fit in just right. That looks great. Everything's covered, nothing's exposed. Give this a press. Give it spirit fingers for energy. <laughs> okay, man. It feels the vibes, bro. Can peel this again. It's a hot peel. It's right there alone could would be pretty cool. But you can do it even better. That little yellow, that little athletic yellow really catches the eye though, you know? I think it's really going to make it extra cool. Also, the fact that we're doing it on the purple, whoa, no joke on the dye, though. Wow. Sorry, I'm looking at the handle of the bag. <laughs> yeah, it's really Oof. <coughs> cheaply dyed. Yeah. Do y'all ever notice that happening? That is not because the vinyl or the heat press. Because the material is very cheaply dyed, and it's heat reactive. It's just that product that you're using. <laughs> Excuse me. That's so I'm giving it the last press. This is with that foam layer. We'll see it pop up after about 10 seconds. I feel like I come across like a lot of people that are just like, I just want to buy the cheapest thing. And I mean, like, you can do that, but you pay that extra dollar, you get just <laughs> something a little nicer. So look how nice this bag turned out. Do you wow. got the cool UV light, Sarah? Yes, I do. Let's make sure it works. Look how different the, the handles are from. Oh <laughs> it's my god! The color. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sarah's got the UV light, and it's working. So if you take this out in the sun, you uh, can lay it down on the table. I'll like. You gotta hold it closer. You want me to do it? It just was working. I had it on. Like two seconds ago. <laughs> the worst UV light ever. No, nah, dude, you just keep on messing with it. There you go. Mad. <laughs> Look how cool, guys. Before your very eyes, the color 
that has changed. You can't necessarily tell on the camera, honestly. You can't see it turning blue and pink. Tap it with the UV light and it really shows. <laughs> Switch it to the big cam. Ooh. Hey guys. Yeah, you can see it from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see that? And that yep. way the light. Whoa. And it starts to fade. The red fades slower than the blue. It, yeah, it does. I was actually wondering if like the heat pressing of the pink kind of affects it a little. I don't think it does, but maybe. Yeah, look at it cooling down, changing all sorts. That's really fun. I love the solar vinyl, especially for t-shirts and during summertime you walk out and it just completely changes. I think the coolest shirt idea I've ever seen with the solar is like a polka dot shirt. I thought that was really cool. Ooh, that is fun. Because inside it was one color. Outside, polka dots were all different. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fun. fun. So let's do one now with hyperspin, y'all. So I got a t-shirt. We have the new Hotronics plan that allows you to do uh, the inner tag. So you have a t-shirt like this, Gildan with a tearaway tag. You can load your shirt like this, y'all. Pop it in. Which it, it's all. Uh, place so it makes it easier to load your shirts and get them straight, which that alone is really cool. Then you can tuck this in here. Take your pull away tag, rip it out, pull this down. Gilman shirts have a tight collar, but it gives you now a nice little space to press where you can make your own tag. So you can ta uh, press tag and shirt all in one go multiple presses. Um, help speed up your whole entire uh, worker's flow. So let's make a, a quick shirt. There you go. That's what we did. Here's some yin yang cats I made. And I think it'll be fun to put on a pink shirt, pink hypershift. That way when it gets hot, it'll be more vibrant. So hypershift changes color with heat. So you all see my hands. Let me get them warm. I know you're pretty, kind of run hot all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I put my hands on it. No. <laughs> it should heat up. Kind of. <laughs> Sorry, I have like uh, the low volume on my phone of the live stream to make sure. You can hardly see it from here. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. There see? we go. Yeah. Works. My hands are just. It changes about 90, 96 degrees. So you see how it changes? Kind of fun. So I have this Union cat I'm going to put on this shirt. It's probably going to change color faster when it's on your, say, like a place like your chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the cool thing is when you wear it on your chest, this vinyl, especially in the summer and when it's hot, it almost looks like a weird camouflage. It's constantly shifting and changing. Right it's now. really fun. I, yeah, see, look, it's starting to do it with my hot body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. It'll constantly change. It'll be a bunch of different shades throughout the day. It's a real fun vinyl. So I'm going to send it to cut. It's kind of like um, in the late 80s, early 90s, they had these sweaters called hyper, hyper color shirts, hyper color sweaters. That was the same idea. Ooh, were those like dyed and like a dye that did that? Yeah. I want that. It's a dye still. I, I, I research. <laughs> I discovered. <laughs> I believe it. I wonder why though it wasn't like a, a uh... wildly popular thing. Yeah. Uh, I think it was really popular in like the early 90s. I think the colors though stopped doing the back and forth after a while. Mm -hmm. Which the hyper shift, I've done a lot of testing on it. 
the colors we all currently sell uh, seem to last infinite. Um, we used to sell a green and um, a different shade of black that over time would turn brown, which was weird. Gross. Stop selling those. <laughs> we used to have this really great purple that we stopped selling too. Um, Manufacturer can bring those back, but this stuff kind of lost popularity. I'm hoping I'm reintroducing. So folks will be like, "This is cool." Yes. It's also fun that you're doing the pink on a pink shirt, so it's kind of subtle, you know. Uh huh. Now that's how I like it best. It's kind of in a subtle way. It does change. It's real exciting. Yin yang kitty. Yin yang cat. Whatever happened to that rapper? Yin yang twin. Are they still putting out bangs? Well, John went solo. Yeah, he is. Yeah. The cut lines are hard to see on this one. Goodness. So we ain't got any comments or anything? I haven't asked. We're like... <laughs> I've been answering questions in the chat. Yeah. Is Robert bothering us? No, I'm really surprised. I guess he's busy today. Man. Oh, Robert? After weeks of Robert. I know, right? I feel like it's been three weeks straight of him tuning in. Maybe he lost it. <laughs> the intern Kayla's here. The intern Kayla. No one can hear you. Hello. Probably still can't. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God. I just heard you. <laughs> no. No, no, no. It, it's okay. okay. Impress this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Covering her hair. Oh my God. Wait, is that the wig I wore yesterday? No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a really small one for the inside of the hat. Um. That's foam. Press on. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to. I'm going to make one real quick one. Um, and I want it only to be. Kayla, wave at the people. Hello. Our viewers, ever since you entered the frame, are just slowly going up. Really? <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kayla, Perfect Press HTV. I hope you guys are having a great time. You're hosting our video next week, right? Yes, I will be hosting the video next week. Oh, really? That will be exciting. Yes. Bumming it out today, so I didn't have to be on national YouTube with this. <laughs> the national YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. <laughs> All right, you, you want to Here, let me do this guy real quick. This one's 3D film, but we're going to do them all at one go. Whoa. Inner tag, which 3D film as an inner tag probably is going to feel crazy. Yeah, why are you doing it as an inner tag? Because I'm feeling crazy. Oh, okay. No, it's going good. Man, we had a peak viewing time of nine people. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So we got that one design. That's on the chest. We're going to put the 3D foam one right here. Let's put this right here. Ooh. And look how cool. Folks, I don't know if you could saw that. Changed the whole thing to white from the heat already. Real cool. You can kind of see it from here, yeah. Ready? Let it ride, Kayla. So this is cool because it lets you press the whole uh, inner tag at one time. Mm -hmm. It's already good. Thank you, Miss Kayla. You're very welcome. 
Bye, Kayla. <laughs> what a great guest spot. <laughs> We're going to pop it. This is a hot seal, so we can peel it right away. And our t inner tag. Peel it. Oh, weird. What happened? Because part of it was shirt, it didn't press. Uh, <laughs> okay, watch this. I will fix it. Well, but okay. We can recover this part so it doesn't get hurt. <laughs> Man, we're always just having a blasty blast here. Hey, I fixed it. There we go. There's like one little thing. Does the thing. phone look all right? Uh, didn't we discover the It kind of did something. Okay. <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> I saved the tech. So yeah, don't normally do 3D film as your back tag, but kind of fun. Look at that. And now we've got this cool little tag That's on the inside. Fun. That's pretty fun. Now, it should start to cool down back to pink. While you wear it, it'll change all up. This is a real fun shirt, y'all. Hey. <laughs> all right. We got time to knock out one last hat. But I think I'm out of hyper shift. Wait, I got some on the ground over here. <laughs> you got a hat? Okay, good. Okay. Right. Nice pink hat. I like this whole pink thing that we got going on. It's a pink day, bro. I feel like it's always a pink day. No, it's not always a pink day. I got this. Do something more. Yeah, do something simple. Let's see. Let's see what you're looking at. Suns. This will probably be easy. Copy it. Yeah, and you know what? You should add a salt life text under it too. Man, I'm not going to do that for my own. <laughs> no. <laughs> this didn't trace well. Yeah, it looks bad. Uh, try another one. Why don't you just do like sun vector or something? I like that band right there. So cool. Good thrash. Let's get this one. Oh, right. Not go to image. Paste. Trace. I think there was another one on there that was just black. Ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, as my math teacher always used to say, keep it simple, silly. Your math teacher was I would call me stupid. Oh, yeah. Miss Barbin was the sweetest old lady. Mathematics with song. I know one math song. It goes negative b, negative b, plus yep. or minus squared. <laughs> b squared minus 4ac. Man, we're nerds. All over 2a. <laughs> so, wait, this is. Not grabbing the right button. That's just for the Pythagorean theorem, right? You know, it's part of math. <laughs> Bad by any means. Like I was actually good at math in school. Okay. But I don't like doing math. And I went to art school, so I never had to do much math after the twelfth grade. Says the guy who sets prices on everything people buy here. <laughs> I mean, says the guy that has to do many simple mathematical tasks here. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know, 
oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we literally did that in this episode. So. <laughs> I'm right just, I, I just want to make a little solar hat, you know, with a little sun hat. A sun hat, because, ah, uh, yeah. I make lame jokes. Yep, yeah, yeah. It's uh, tis the season of beach time. Harder than last year, I feel like. Last year, I was scared of the beach. I mean, yeah. Like, I went to the beach last year, and it was like middle of COVID time. Uh, no one's wearing masks. Freaked out. Well, yeah. I mean, you also told me that it was like super packed. It was packed, and it just it made me feel uncomfortable at the time. But this year, vaccinated boy, so I'm, I have no fears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I like the beach. Yeah, go I sunburn so easy though. Yeah, I know you're a pink man. It's okay, Ford likes to believe that he's not a pink man, but he is also a pink man. Do I want just the hat, or do we want something added? I mean, I tried telling you, put, putting salt life on the hat. Sun life? No, salt life. Sun life. Oh, okay. I don't like salt. Hold on. We can find Uh, I think so, something like that. So it's a modified version of chili. Yeah. Huh. It's not on I was listening to some folks talking in the showroom and they were sharing like the the font.com. It's the best for free fonts. It is. I like uh I think it's like 1001font.com, too. That's another good alternative if you can't find what you're looking for on defont.com. I don't see why I like this one's okay. Let's see what you're doing on the computer. Creepy font. Open. And install that font. And we're going to go back here. We're going to say yes. Trim this so I can cut it. We're doing with the other color. Which color was this? Is this the blue? <laughs> I cut off the part that tells you what color. Can you turn the UV thing on? Let's see if you can. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what color this is. I think it's blue. Just hold it down, dude. Don't look at it. <gasps> See? You just have to hold it down. It is blue. Ugh. And I think it would have been cooler with the pink sun. Do it with the pink sun. Ah, I'm too late. I'm too deep in. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do the text with the pink? Yeah, we're going to call it Sun Life. Cool. Part of my new club, we're going to fight against Salt Life Gang. That sounds good. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> sounds like it's uh, pretty thrilling when you go to PCB, bro. I've never been. I went there once when I was 12. Was it the best time? Um, hung out with some dolphins. That was sick. Like members of the Miami Dolphins? No. That sounds not as sick. That sounds amazing, dude. Imagine 12 year old you and a whole bunch of grown men football players. Sounds like the best time of your life. Okay. Have I explained to you what I looked like when I was 12? Exactly. That's why you would have been a sports fan. Uh, okay. Cut in the sun life. All right. Nice. 
Read out this part. Man, we, we made a lot of stuff today. We made quite a bit of stuff last episode, too. Man, I'm a stuff maker. Yeah, making things. Doing stuff, making things. Having fun. Man, I love the sun. Like, have you ever, like, not been in the sun for a few days and then you just get, like, a good burst of sunshine on you and you're just like, yes. Uh, luckily, no, because I think I make an effort to go outside every day. <sighs> well, <laughs> some of us mole people <laughs> like to get that blast of vitamin D. I've been trying to convince my roommate that he should do a uh, um, morning sun yoga. And then I keep on seeing them those articles about people who like uh, sun their butthole. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. Uh, he's convinced I want him to sun his butthole now. It's pretty fun. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. So this is the idea of the hat. <laughs> It'll say sun life like this. Yep. So let us press it with the perfect press hat press. Yeah. I'm done with the computer. Cool. Here we go. Uh, I do agree that uh, Kyle should probably get more some, sunlight. Do some sun yoga. That'd probably be good for his mental health. Yeah, it'd be healthy for. Her. Yeah. You're not gonna use the hat holder thingy. I am. I am. Got it on one. Oh, yeah, I didn't see it stuck out. Get in there. Come on. Hey, you gotta unbutton it. Come on. Oh, that's hot. There we go. Making sure all the spots are where I want them. We got this right here. Do you really want to put it that low on the bill? Yeah, I think it'll look cool right like that. Okay. I just wonder if anyone will be able to see it. I think they will. Okay. Hopefully. Another failed design by Winston. Creativity is all about trial and error. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to press the whole thing. I don't like how it's... Looking. I don't think it's going to press the whole Me thing. Me neither. I want to do it in layers. <laughs> I want to pop this part up. Focus more on this right here. camera. I don't know if it would ever be a good idea to have a camera like specifically for me sitting behind the camera because uh, I definitely just look like a backseat driver. So I'm giving them multiple presses just kind of make sure I got a good hold on it. That looks pretty good right there. <laughs> that's, pre that's pretty good right there. So laugh. Now we're going to put this one right over here. As people know, I'm all about the sun. I'm about beaches and sun. Sometimes barbecue. <laughs> 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 I wish I was that person. <laughs> <laughs> what, that lived on like a houseboat on Lake Lanier? You know, man, this is going to be a great ski season. I can say it already. Oh, my God. Boat people are wild, bro. <laughs> oh, I know. Or lake people, like dudes who... I had a friend in high school who was like, man, I'm really thinking I just want to be a lake guy. I was like, what do you mean by that? He worked at the lake in the summer, like on a dock. He's like, yeah, there's this guy here who's like 45, and that's all he does is work on the lake. It's just like, man, I don't know if that's that's the dream, is it? But I guess for some folks who really love like wakeboarding, like, some folks love it. Yeah, you know, to each their own. Well, there's those folks who just ski their whole life, professional skiers. Yep. Ford used to work at a dock, so he's definitely made pl uh, met plenty of lake people. The lake, the lake crowd. Man, I'm not getting a great press on this. <laughs> I 
Like, I'm not getting good pressure at all. Like, inconsistently pressing. I don't know if it's the hat or I need a different plan. Uh, Artist Pree says, hi, everyone. Hello. We're watching Winston struggle to press a hat. I think you need a different platen, even though we don't necessarily have time for that. I'm yeah, so very frustrated with this thing. Yeah, it just didn't press it all very nicely. Let me try one more time. Such a great salesman when it comes to our new items. Because <laughs> uh, right now I'm really preferring the hot trunks hat press. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. There it goes. Weird, man. Still one that's like not the best. Well, looks like you just need another hat, hat flatten for it, you know? I'm fixing it. <laughs> All right, that that worked. <laughs> <laughs> so this is with the solar. Let's try it with the UV. Why can't I even open it now? There we go. <laughs> it's just a hat, Winston. It's okay. Don't beat it up. So we're going to UV it. Look, y'all. Magic. It's already. I mean, you can see it. I don't think anyone else can Better, see it. The bag worked better. <laughs> Look. Look what all we made, y'all. <laughs> made this go. bag. <laughs> the bag worked really well. The hat, it works, yet it fades really fast. But look, the bag, yeah, bag. It's different when you're out in the sun, though, you know? And then we got this one, which is still slowly fading back because it's heat sensitive. And yeah, pretty fun, y'all. That's a, yeah, why did I wave that on? It's okay. <laughs> so we made a bag with the solar, a hat with the solar, and a t-shirt with the hypershift and a little bit of the 3D inside. Showed off the new plan from Hotronics. Kind of showed off the hat press from Perfect Press. That's a day, y'all. We got 45 new glitters. We got 14 3D foams. Come on in, We got a lot of new stuff. It's uh, Spring is in the air. It's a good time. Oh, yeah. Uh, check Let's us out next crafty. week. Uh, Kayla will be hosting next week's. She's got something fun for y'all. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave it on the video. Uh, and yeah, like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, the playback of this is on YouTube. Again, I'm going to include these files for free on the YouTube videos download link. So check that out. Have a wonderful day, y'all. Bye. Bye-bye. Yes.